So this is the second installment on intentionality and being intentional. And this is what we actually need to understand. In order for us to be able to control our lives, in order for us to be able to truly be intentional in the direction that we choose to take through our decision making, we need to be able to do the near impossible. And that's to understand what is going to happen next. As it happens, our brains are actually designed for that. And we have empathy as a trait or an attribute that is almost natural in the way we approach the world. And empathy is there to, dis to, to help us, it's designed to help us understand what is going to happen next by essentially understanding the emotions of other people, which then allow us to predict their movements and their actions because it helps us understand their motivation. If we're not empathic, if we don't try to develop empathy by visualizing, truly feeling how other people feel, then we become less capable of actually being able to predict what is going to happen next because we don't understand their motivation which essentially creates a sense of uncertainty in ourselves and um, then that creates all sorts of other th feelings including fear. So being intentional actually means that we need to be more empathic.